Super LT, my little, my little green fiberglass rods, one ounce float, and my little baby Diola reels. Yes, sir. Yeah. Beautiful fish, huh? Yeah, it is. That's you just caught the southern staple. Yep. Jeez, you might be just under. Yeah. Okay, the tail of the tape. <laughs> If you pinch their tail, that's how they be. Me that's how they're supposed to be measured. So it makes them actually see. In the old days, before they came up with this new rule, here's what you did. That's it. Legal fish all day. Then, because of tournaments, they came up with this pinch the tail. In all reality, he's like. Over by a pinch of the tail. All right. Uh, let me get one. All right. Get your own video here. Bluefish have arrived. Bluefish have arrived. We found ourselves a hot spot. Oh yeah, baby. All right. That's two. This one's a keeper. The other one wasn't. <laughs> well, what the hell? Oh, it's just a smaller. All right, I even got to catch one. We were getting low on shrimp, so I wasn't using any shrimp today. We were burning through them with the bluefish like, like cordwood. But Matt wants to give some to his mama, so I had to pitch in. <laughs> Hell yeah, 16 incher in the box, baby. All right, there we go. One more. One more for the road. I think we got, what, 
four or five keepers? I think so, yeah. We're really shallow. If you saw where we were sitting, we are like damn near fishing the beach. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost the direct opposite of everything I was doing earlier in the week. And the only reason is that incoming tide out here today the water was so high it was so rough that we were literally sitting on this side of the jetty and the ocean would be five six feet over our heads the swells and they were crashing over the rocks and the reason we couldn't catch any trout this morning is because it was just so damn rough and nasty so they're biting now though that's all that matters <laughs> but the fog, the tide today is the day of the new moon. So it's it's been a tough, tough, tough one, that's for sure, on these trout. But now we're sitting in the tides down like down there five, six feet already. And now we found a nice little groove where they're biting. And I think we're on our last shrimp. Last shrimp. 84 shrimp. And we had to go through a whole bunch of damn bluefish bites like. Uh, all right. Oh. oh. Bluefish bites were like ridiculous. Sandbag city, baby. Sandbag city. I will send back that dirty water. <laughs> Yes, sir. Finally got one. They've been stealing our bait. All right, now see how when you go to eat them and you go to clean them, they got this huge rib cage, right? Uh -huh. So all you get is around like this, yep. and you go around the rib cage. See, all you get is this right here. Yep. All right, but you'll see, that'll be real good meat. Okay, let me give them, put them on the grip up here. See, they have their lip to grab onto, right? So you got to do this. Push that down. Okay, this is a uh, ah, four pounder. Four pounder, yeah. Yeah, a little different. Okay, I want to stop bowing. Okay, you might as well just hold them like that. Just watch out for those top fin, boy. That's a weapon. Yeah, see that thing. All right, we saw them. We saw that damn fish sandbagging that shrimp. We saw him do it twice. And he had a big old cut in his nose like we ripped the hook across him one other time. We finally got the sandbagger. Sandbag and cheap here. Come on! They're 
there's a little groove back there that that's where they're all sitting. This is like every cast and we got only one more shrimp left and we're getting them almost every cast. Baby. All right, another keeper in the house. <laughs> Sixteen and a quarter inches. He'll fry. Officially, the last shrimp. But it seems like every time I go in here, I catch another shrimp. But it's I really think that's. Hard. That's really it this time. That's the last of them. Even if you don't make it count, it's a hell of a hell of a little go round you've just had. Oh yeah. <laughs> Spawning female. Eggs. Pay attention to the difference of me cleaning this one and when I start doing the trout. Mm -hmm. There's no comparison. Yeah, yeah. The trout, I whip him into shape in about 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, you think you want all this. They always think they want it, but then they can't handle it. Ah! Look at them. They're all going to fight over it. And then they lose interest. And then back to reality over here. So, out of a, what was he, maybe six pound sheep's head or something, this is what we end up getting. Not a whole lot. It's all about knife strokes. How many? Yeah. Nice, dulling knife strokes. Watch, this is hardly any. I go, I cut across his ass. I will sometimes do this. You see, they got that, that right there? That's oh, called the right swim bladder. Okay. I pull that out, right? I'm done. Wow. Man, look at that meat, too. I mean, beautiful too, man. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, compared to a sheep's head, I think this is a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> right? Get rid of him. And then I go in here like this, and I take the rib cage right out, and it's 100% boneless. 